Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good summer so far. If you've seen my recent community post, I have created exercises and have published a PDF slash ebook. So the name of this book is called 15 Unusual Exercises and it's a collection of short but very effective exercises I found from different kinds of repertoire and different kinds of pieces that I've played. So I looked at those parts and thought which of these passages are so unusual and so remarkable that I think everyone should have a crack at them and everyone should practice them. So I've come up with 15 exercises that should showcase these kind of unusual positions and unusual movements and there are also some really good warm-up exercises in there. Each exercise is quite short because I think we should not waste too much time learning an exercise because at the end of the day it's really not about playing exercises, it's about playing music, right? So I don't want to waste anyone's time to learn a very long exercise or something that's overly complicated. I also have written some anecdotes for each exercise and some notes that you can read, sort of like an introduction to each exercise which I recommend reading. I tell you why I came up with the exercise, maybe a fun little backstory and also what we are attacking, which kind of aspect and what we're improving as well as how to actually play the exercise. So to show you an example of what kind of exercises I came up with, I have made one exercise that tackles the trills from the Waldstein Sonata from Beethoven. And there are many examples where we actually have to trill with the fourth finger. So I have made variations. So it starts like this, like the normal uh, trill does in the Waldstein, where we have one, two trill and the five. And I've modified it slightly. Then I actually also took in the left hand, where as you can see, the four and five are gonna be trilling. Which makes it, of course, more challenging to trill in 4 and 5. We're not used to it. Later, of course, also the right hand has 4 and 5 trills. And there is also one passage which has an in-between. So there is actually shifting of the trills. So like this. And then 1 and 2 start to trill. And at the end, we have the Michelangelo trill, which is a type of trill that you can do for very long. It's basically a special fingering that I explain and that can enable you to trill for a very long time, basically. There are many themes discussed in my exercises. For example, just to name a few, the articulation is discussed, staccato, legato, how to do them properly, as well as just technical things like double notes, how to play double notes fast. Then we have also more specialized things. For example, the thumb placement in Ravel, for example. Of course, I've also made an exercise about octaves and many more things that are just uncomfortable. Speaking of uncomfortable, I'll show you one more exercise here and it works as follows. It's meant to be quite uncomfortable to play. That's on purpose. So we have, for example, here one, three, five and then two and four. Have to play independently and lift the fingers quite high like this while one three five are hold down and then later we go for different variations of these very uncomfortable positions also in the left hand which is meant to uh, practice your independence of the fingers on a really kind of extreme scale and there's also one bar here for example where you have to actually bend the fourth finger sideways to be able to make it because not always you would play in comfortable positions so this is one idea to just an example in this bar that you have to position your hand differently sometimes especially if you're playing something like Rachmaninoff list etc you might not always be in the ideal kind of place so this book in total is 24 pages long and you will have a lot of fun with it, I think. They are really, um, hopefully, out of the box exercises, not like your run of the mill kind of Hanon. So head over to the link in the description to get the PDF. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.